Devils, it's Miss Lawensing. Uh, happy Tuesday of week two of summer school, and welcome to our daily mindful moment. Um, so today we're gonna focus again on our breathing. I'm hoping that you are using some of the breathing techniques that we've talked about uh, during our first week. We're gonna take some of those breathing techniques this week and to kind of extend them and use them in different ways. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about gratitude um, today. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about self-care again and a kindness challenge for today. So let's start with our breathing technique. <coughs> Excuse me. So today we're gonna do something called soundscapes. Um, and so this exercise will teach you how to focus your attention how to harness it, and how to maintain it. Humans have an amazing capacity for focus, but that doesn't mean that it comes naturally. We have to practice at, at learning how to focus well. That's why we need to train our attention to stay where we want it for as long as we need it. So in this exercise, in our soundscapes today, you are going to focus on one simple thing, sound. What do you hear around you? If you focus, you'll probably find that different sounds are going on around you all the time. Indoor sounds, outdoor sounds, even sounds inside of your own body, like heartbeats and breaths, your stomach growling. Um, in this activity, we're going to learn how to keep our attention focused on those sounds and not let our focus wander. So you're gonna sit comfortably in your chair with your feet firmly on the ground. Sit, or you can sit on the floor with your legs crossed if you want to. You can rest your hands on your knees or on your lap. And we are going to focus our attention on the sound of our breathing, inhaling and exhaling. So you can use our two and four breathings, remember you inhale for two, hold for four, exhale for two, hold for four, inhale for two, hold for four, exhale for two, hold for four. So two, four, two, four, two, four, two counts, four counts. Or you can do your square breathing. Remember, um, inhale for four, Hold for four, exhale for four, inhale for four, one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. So you can do your square breathing, four counts of four, or do your two and four breathing. Breathe for two, hold for four. While you're doing that, I want you to focus your attention on the sound of your breath. You'll start noticing other sounds around you, but as those other sounds arise, go back and focus on just the sound of your breath. Okay, so again, we're going to do our breathing, and I want you to focus on the sound of your breath. So I'm not going to talk you through this one because I really want you to listen to yourself. So again, choose whichever breathing technique you want. I'll give you about a minute to inhale exhale and focus on the sound of your breath.
When you're ready, go ahead and focus on your breathing, coming back to your normal pattern of breathing. So you'll notice when you add the extra component of listening to your breath, it's a little hard, okay? It takes practice. Just like we had said, um, being able to focus on one thing takes practice. And this is a good um, exercise to use to practice focusing. Uh, for me, you know, I was trying to listen to my breath, but I could hear the, our air conditioner. Like the, it's really loud, the air coming out of the vents. So I, could, I felt like I could hear that louder than my, the breath coming in and out of my body. Um, but I kept telling myself, focus on your breath. Focus on listening on the breath and drown out the air conditioner, uh, blowing out air. Okay, so this is a great activity for you to practice your breathing and to practice focus. All right, let's move on to gratitude. What are we thankful for today? So take a moment to think about what you're grateful for. Um, today, I am grateful for all of our staff who was outside this morning from 8 a.m. to 12 noon to pass out diplomas to class of 2021. So today was probably one of the warmer days we've had for a while. And uh, there's about a dozen staff out there handing out diplomas to our seniors. Uh, seniors came to pick up their diplomas and other fun goodies uh, to, to finish off their time at Sweetwater. So I wanna say thank you to those uh, staff members that were out there doing the good work uh, to to uh, send our seniors off to start their next journey. So thank you, staff, for being out there today and doing that good work. Self-care. So our self-care tip for today are positive affirmations, uh, saying good things to yourself about yourself. Um, sometimes it's hard to do. We're more critical and we're, we're, we're quick to point out the negative things that we've been doing or the negative things, negative parts of our personalities or, or uh, the way we do things. Uh, but it's important that you take time out of your day to focus on telling yourself something good, okay? So today I want you to tell yourself you are doing a great job, especially if you come to summer school every day, you've logged in every day, or if you're here um, in person attending classes, you've attended your classes every day, you're here on time, you're doing all your assignments, tell yourself you are doing a good job. Ms. Duansing, you are doing a good job. Um, because you are, you're trying your best, you're putting your best foot forward every day. And you know, if anyone's gonna tell you you're doing a good job, it's yourself. So today, tell yourself you're doing a great job. Our kindness challenge for today is to focus on being kind rather than being right. Okay, I'll say it again. Focus on being kind rather than being right. Okay, so as a teenager, which you all are, sometimes we get caught up with uh, in disagreements maybe with our parents, our grandparents, our aunts, our uncles, our guardians, um, because we want to be right. And uh, maybe those uh, discussions end up becoming arguments. People get mad, people get angry, things are said that you should, probably shouldn't have said. Um, but if we take a step back and rather than trying to be right, that we focus on being kind. Okay, you might not agree with what your parent is telling you, what your grandma is telling you, okay? But even though you don't agree, even though you disagree, there's a way to be kind in your response rather than being mean or angry or hurtful. So when you're in those situations where you're in heated conversations with people and you're trying to be right, Focus on trying to be kind before forcing yourself to be right. Find a way to be kind in that conversation uh, before getting angry or upset or heated. All right. So, um, again, if you're with us, 
whether live or the recorded version, if you want to fill out our mindful moment reflection about some of the things we talked about today, I'll give you an opportunity to kind of write down some thoughts about some of the things we talked about today. It's also a way for you to get in contact with me if you want to talk a little bit more about our mindful moment and the things we talked about today. So uh, thank you very much for joining me today, Tuesday of the second week of summer school. And I will see you tomorrow for Wellness Wednesday. Thanks, Red Devils. Have a great day.